Ooh. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the live stream happening a little late, four minutes late. But today I am going to be just talking about some basics and just doing what I do on my live stream every Friday at 8 p.m. I I don't know, this time around, I really just wanted, I know I've been working on the same jacket, but I was like, I was kind of scrambling to figure out what I wanted to do for live stream as far as projects and whatnot. But I mean, I, I still want to finish this sweater. I, it's been it's been almost two months now, so I really just gonna knock it out, and then that's pretty much the end of it. I think I last time I just hemmed the cuff or hemmed the end of it. I love my I love the live streams. Appreciate it. I gotta hem this side. That's what I wanted to do. Where are my hemming clips? And also, I need to fix. What's up, Aaron Production? How you doing? We are kind of like scrambling right now because I'm trying. I got my assistant here helping me out. <laughs> Greetings from Brooklyn. What is good? How you doing, Jay? What's up? Sorry, we're like setting up right now, and it's just kind of like getting started. But if you guys are watching this on the YouTube ers after live stream actually started, I just basically so so live and I, I kind of get to it. So let me put you guys a little bit over there. There we go. Does sewing take long? Sewing takes it's you you spend about almost a full day on a project. Say you make a bottom jacket from scratch, that's an entire day. That's that's just generally it. Let me let me roll up my sleeves. When I start when, when I start rolling up them sleeves, that's how you know. That's how you know. Am I? I'm in frame. I'm in frame. Okay, I'm in frame. I don't know. I I'm trying to get this webcam in the right position every single time. It's just like, ah, uh, so it's such a struggle. Let me actually switch you guys over to my sewing cam, which I'll fix right now. Go so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, I'm just going to kind of read into the chat. I know that the chat goes a little fast. So I'm going to try to read as much as possible. I used your video to make a velvet bomber jacket. It was really good. You're welcome. I mean, that that the velvet, the velvety ish of the bomber or on the sweater is just such a good and interesting little feature to a sweatshirt. I'm making a uh this kind of reminds me of a batman outfit now like i don't know this whole time was i was was i just envisioning making a batman jacket that's like the whole idea behind this or the whole concept and i feel like it's i decided just to make a whole like batman sweater like this is my this is gonna be like my 2018 pretty much 2018 outfit like i'm batman i'm batman <laughs> What is up? So there's a lot of people coming in. What's up? Boss man, Misha, how you doing? Live stream already enjoying the content. I mean, I just started. Depends on what you're making, that is true. Hello from Philippines. How do you say that? How you say it? Mabuhay. Mabuhay. I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, whatever. <laughs> um, hello, I'm, oh. Hey, I'm hailing from Charlotte too. Yo, yo. Got we got a team. We got a team. How difficult is it to go straight into cut and sew instead of starting with blanks? It's not difficult. It's just how much time you want to put in. You know. I think that's like the the main the main quest that you should be uh, not the main quest. So the main thing you should be thinking about when you get into like creating your own brand or creating anything you got to think about it like this do you want to manufacture your own things or do you want to ship that out and have someone else deal with it obviously with having someone else deal with it there's a lot of like communication that you need to be very keen on otherwise your products are just gonna look really odd when you get them from wherever you get them i'm gonna sew this down can you guys even see what i'm doing i don't think you can I gotta like check if this is good, but then it's like, oh, where should I put this? I should. I just do that. There we go. 
you can you can scroll. Is that the one? Yeah, just use that use that part of the the butter bing. Boom. There we go. Me name's P Pedro. I was gonna say Pedro. I don't know why I always say that. Whenever I see Pedro, I, s I automatically say Pedro. I'm not trying to. I'm d that's just just me being me. Is it difficult to start off? So I re answer that. What's up, Marcia? How you doing? Welcome to the live stream. What am I making? I am finishing up a sweater that I've been working on forever and ever and ever. Like it's just been years. Like this thing's been around. <laughs> This is like part of my life, like my lifespan now. Hey, hey, what's up? Welcome to the live stream. I'm starting to sew right now as you're watching. So if you guys have never checked out Takara's channel, she does YouTube videos as well. I'm subscribed to her. Um, how you doing? Thanks for <laughs> dropping by. Sub can end your daily. Sew that thing, finish it tonight, yes! <laughs> But first of all, I need to like make sure this is even. Oh, okay. Um, I made it for your live stream for the first time. Thank you so much for your videos. You taught me a lot. Thanks for dropping by and thanks for watching my videos. I mean, I, I appreciate it. I, I preach the fact that like people, you know, take the time out to watch my videos. They're not the shortest things in the world, but I really do appreciate people watching my tutorials or just videos in general. Thanks for teach now. You're welcome now. <laughs> hey, what's up, Ninja Socks? How you doing? Welcome to the live stream. How much did you pay for that? Wh what? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you talking about the sewing machine? Let me know. Um, I'm actually making a sweatshirt too. What does your sweatshirt look like so far? I know sweatshirts all look the same, but some are a little bit different. I'm finishing sewing after a long day. Yes. So tell me why. Like I came home from from work. I was like, Yo, I'm about to I'm about to finish this sweater. It's about to it's about to change the game. And then I realized, like, dang, I haven't even I haven't even thought of like how much stuff I really still need to do on the sweater. And I'm on the wrong thread. Nice. Nice. I need a black thread. Someone can't see. You can't see. What what can't you see? Is it is it my chat? Could you guys see me? Could you guys hear me? Is that is is that is that something that you guys can do? <laughs> um, I don't see your black thread. Oh, I might. Oh, I have my black thread here. Okay. Awesome. Thought I lost it. I have part of it here, so I gotta just find the other one. I got a Singer Heavy Duty Four Four Three Two for Christmas. Is this a good beginner machine? I don't know how to sew at all. So, I mean, I've never really dealt with that machine, so I'm not gonna give you like a. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to how to go about telling you if it's a good or a bad machine if I've never actually seen or touched it. But I mean, you gotta think about it like this. You 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 pay the amount for what you get in return. Meaning that if you paid like $100 for your sewing machine, you're getting $100 out of it. You know, that's just generally the rule of thumb for things like that. Where is my black thread? Huh. It might be in, oh, right here, got it, got it. Oh, that one. Awesome. Here, right here. Okay, I, I bought my first sewing machine last week for like 48 bucks. Cause I'm broke. Is that okay? As long as it's running, I mean, I don't know. I don't know where the problem is. If you can turn it on and sew stuff, I don't know. I don't know. It's, that's pretty much it. You don't go from. You don't. You don't stop from there. You just keep going. You gotta start somewhere. That's usually how it is. Thanks for the shout outs. I'm doing good. Keep doing your thing, man. Turn up on these sewing machines all 2018. You know how I do it. That's how I do it. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Did I sew that part? No, I didn't. Okay, that's what I did last time. I needed to get yellow thread. That's why I was switching to yellow thread last time. I feel like when I started this whole live stream thing that I did on my channel, I was like so nervous to do it at first. Because I was just like, man, how do you talk to people for like an hour? Like, who does that? 
But then I started to like realize how easy it gets after you know you practice, and that's how it is with sewing too. Like you you start with oh, I suck at sewing or I'm not good at sewing, so should I keep sewing? And then you you know you start doing a little bit more, you get a little bit more practice, and then you start to realize, dang, I'm I'm actually pretty good at sewing. Like that's where I'm at. <laughs> I can't, I can't speak on behalf of everyone. Everyone kind of goes at their own pace. I know that like some people are like really just really good at sewing. There's some people that just need a little bit more time and that's okay. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even, what am I doing? I'm sewing and I didn't even put in the top half yet. I'm, I'm so good at, this is, this is me sewing guys. This is literally me. If you guys need a depiction of, of you doing something wrong with the sewing machine, just envision my face. Because that's what I do a majority of the time. I just <laughs> mess up. But I'm just like such an easygoing person that even though I mess up, like I keep going. And that's the one thing that you need to have as a sewer, that trait. You just need to really, really just be an easygoing person. You can't get you just can't get mad at the smaller things. If you keep if you get small or if you get mad at really like really really small things you're gonna have a hard time sewing because there's just so much to sewing that you're gonna get probably frustrated about and it'll just get to you so if you're not if you're easily frustrated easily frustrated I would just you know I would kind of reconsider it I can hear I can see and hear you awesome what made me get into sewing asked by only the fam x god tv <laughs> fam squad i got into sewing because i was a broke college student i didn't have any money i didn't really have a job at the time and i just wanted to like make cool stuff without like dropping the banks dropping the dollars and then it just became into this whole youtube thing and i started teaching people how to sew and started doing little tutorials here and there and now I just kind of do it for fun. I think it's just that's the main purpose of my channel now is that I just do it for fun. I think that people can take sewing seriously and they can make a huge YouTube channel around sewing. But it's it's kind of like whatever you whatever you feel like doing. You don't need to be forced into the idea that oh, I sew. Now I need to make a YouTube channel, you know. It's just kind of like whatever whatever life kind of puts you in you just want to take what it decides for you or I guess that's how I do it that's how I think about it I don't really want to go into it too much because everyone kind of goes in their own directions and how they want to approach sewing I don't want to like persuade you to think that sewing is one way there's a lot of ways to approach sewing all right and just like that, I sewed it without, it, it did not take an entire hour to hem a, uh, <laughs> the end of the sleeve. And I'm also going to hem the bottom of the, the sweater as well. I don't know if I'm going to get necessarily into the collar in this live stream, but hey, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? Do you know, oh, I got a lot of comments. I'm just, I'm just blabbering away. I'm just going for it. Thank you for mentioning your content is my ad aesthetic. You're welcome. Um, my sweatshirt is more like a hoodie shirts. Those hoodie shirts. Huh. What does that look like? Both views. See you well. Okay. We, 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 we out here. <laughs> hey there, Ken. Love from Singapore. Love from California. Ken, do you know how to do free motion embroidery? No, I do not. I would love to learn though. That's the one thing that I've always wanted to learn, but it's just, you just need a lot of, you just need a lot of time for it. That's the only downside. I need to cut this actually. It's, it's super uneven. I need to cut this. Look at this. Oh, I guess you guys can't see it, but it's okay. <laughs> I started, um, you get what you paid for and I basically, I basically say this in every live stream. They're like, oh, what's a good sewing machine? Oh, the hundred dollar sewing machine, good, but it's like you pay for you you pay for what you get. Like it's it's that's the simple that's the golden rule. That's just how it is. I mean, you can't buy a hundred dollar sewing machine and expect it to do like everything. You you only can expect so much from it. 
so yeah marcia to answer your question basically if you pay more you get more quality out of it does it improve the quality of the stitches probably not um for the most part it just makes your life easier and that's what you want to kind of have as a sewing machine to have your life not go down the drain <laughs> um, i started sewing in high school but it's been a, about a good four years since i've done it actually i think i'm on my fifth year of sewing that's that's crazy to think is a sewing machine that's like 40 50 bucks a good beginner machine it really depends on where you get the machine or where it's from and stuff like that so it's just like you got to really look into the factors do a lot of research i think a lot of people come to me and say oh is this a good machine but i gotta i gotta be honest with you guys like i don't know everything about every other machine like i can only tell you like oh it seems like it's good like i can give you my like opinion but I can't, you know, overall tell you, oh, this is, this is, this machine's bomb. <laughs> Hi from Mexico. What is up? That is the neighboring country from the Yule Wiles. I took my grandma's old sewing machine. Where do I even start? I'm scared. I think like everyone's scared when they start sewing. I think anything in life, you're, you're going to be scared at first. But if you just kind of keep the momentum going, you'll be fine. I need to cut this. I need to I need to cut this I don't know if I want to use the scissors yeah I should just use scissors I will just I'm gonna just freehand cut this it's probably a really bad idea but it's okay it's okay it's all a learning process uh, what are you doing right now I am finishing up a sweater that took me almost two months to make now don't 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 take this as a as a as an estimate of how long it actually takes to make a sweater, I usually can make a sweater in about two hours if I'm not live streaming and talking and distracting myself from sewing. Uh, what, sh what needle, wh what should I use for needles? If I'm sewing leather, you're going to need a heavy duty needle and preferably one that is pretty big in, in needle size. Just depending on your leather, and also you're gonna need you're gonna need a Teflon, um, a Teflon foot. You need to look that up. I can't explain what a Teflon foot is. I just know it's meant for like uh, leather, because leather sticks, and you, you don't want to stick, because then it creates problems, and that's just not good. So you got it from eBay. Yeah, eBay is a good source. Just as long as it works, I think you're pretty you're pretty good. You're pretty good. Uh, thanks a lot. I just want something that can last me for years. Yeah, if you if you invest into your machine, it's gonna last you years. Kind of like how you buy a car. You don't buy a, if you buy a used car. You, there's only so many years left. If the car was um, it was had a previous owner, just because you don't know how they, you don't know the history of it. So. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna put my sewing machine to the side. Do I have space for this to put this to the side? I need to I need to really just cut this. I really just oh I made a little mark on my table. It's okay. It's all good. I don't care. I bought this. Oh oh. Yeah, everything is knocking over. I'm gonna I'm just gonna cut something real quick, guys. I need to get my cutting mat. I should have put this on my table to start with. I don't know why I decided not to. Why am I taking my mess out? Do I have enough space for this? There we go. There we go. I literally decided to just throw this, throw this on just because I really want it to be pretty precise with the cutting. I don't know why I didn't just do this to start with. Where is my, there it is. Yeah, the pizza cutter. You guys all know what this is. Can they even see it? Yeah, let's see. Gotta focus on that sewing. I mean, not sewing, that cutting. I don't want this thing to look uneven. <laughs> Imagine that, like, that asymmetrical look coming back. Yo, I don't know. Does anyone still have asymmetrical tees? Like, that's that used to be a thing. Like, I used to make that, like, every week. I remember this company was like, 
<laughs> yeah, could you make this asymmetrical shirt for us as a sample? And I was like, sure, how, how would you want it to look? And they're like, yeah, in the front, I want a huge V going upwards. I was like, wait, what? What, what do you mean a huge V going upwards? He's like, yeah, you, you know, like a V neck? And I'll be like, okay. And they'll be like, yeah, but it's just going to be like a, a ton or <laughs> a belly button neck. And I'm like, um, Ew. I kind of, I kind of at that point. Oh, oh, that's just my clips. I'm good. As long as it's not my pins. I'm going to throw this away or throw this down here for now. All right, let's, let's get, let's get back. Let's get back on track. Cut that, and I'm now I'm gonna hem it. I'm gonna use my hem clip to hem all this stuff. Where are we at? Where are we at? Am I Canadian? No, I'm not. I mean, that'd be cool if I was Canadian. I was gonna say Canadian, <laughs> like with a with a Canadian. I don't even know what to touch. El that Lamau. <laughs> I need to watch a beginner beat or something. I have a I have a ton of those. If you wanna wanna take a scan there at what that is greeting from rams country what is good are you guys doing good this season i haven't been really fo um i'm not really caught up on can i get some water sorry i'm really not caught up on football so are you guys doing good thank you um why do you think what do you think is the best shirt for mass screen printing price to quality um i think gildan is probably the cheapest to be honest i started with a 50 dollars machine and made a lot of pajamas until i perfected it that's pretty much that's pretty much how you go about doing that i mean there's no other way can i have a pair <laughs> i know could you could you send me a pair <laughs> i'm just playing don't send me a pair <laughs> That'd be that. I mean, if I mean, by all means, if you want to, I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm just playing. Uh, thank you so much. Appreciate the help. No problem. Don't want to sew my finger. I stapled my thumb when I was really young. You 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 just gotta push through. Not with the stapler, but you gotta push <laughs> through. Like you gotta push through. You gotta, you know, you gotta over. You gotta. You just gotta push through and overcome those those. Those nightmares, those difficulties in your life. <laughs> what is the word I'm trying to look for? Those struggles? I don't know. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be making an asymmetrical T soon. Oh, awkward. <laughs> There's like a, a reverse V-neck that someone tried to make me. And I was like, yeah, I'm never going to work with these people ever again. I don't know. It was just kind of odd to What's me. What's a reverse V-neck? So instead of the V-neck going here, it was at their belly button. Like... From down here then it goes up yeah point. like it shows their belly button and oh, i was like yeah i'm not gonna i mean i was like oh interesting but <laughs> then i stopped i stopped emailing them after that i was like uh i'm not about that life oh. i own oh uh, okay sorry I'm, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what type of ribbons would be best for sleeves i think anything woven oh i forgot the name of them I have them saved on my Etsy shop. Not my Etsy shop, my Etsy account. I would have to go back and tell you. So if you can remind me to check, I can DM you on, in or if you can DM me on Instagram to ask me what what ribbons, what their ribbons are called, then I can definitely show you, or yeah, I can definitely show you what they're called. I can't think of them on top of my head. I got, I got, I got this, this project to kind of think about. I own one asymmetrical jacket. It's pretty cool. Haven't can you actually move this over here? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's kinda hard to read the chat. I own one asymmetrical jacket. It's pretty cool. Haven't been wearing it. Yeah, I mean asymmetrical is kinda like it was a fad, but now it's not. And then and then you kinda end up with all this asymmetrical stuff and you're just kinda like, should I keep, should I still wear this? <laughs> Hi from Sydney, Australia. What is going on? Welcome to the live stream. It might be like morning over there. Is it? Is it morning over there? Is it morning over there? It might be. Yeah, I think it might be morning over there. So, yeah. good morning. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi from Thailand. What's going on? So, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just. There we go. No, I'm not gonna make that kind of asymmetrical. Yo, that type of asymmetrical. I was just like, <laughs> I was like, okay. I I was just trying to envision this onto like a mannequin, right? I was just like, okay. So how would this look like on the runway? How would this look outside? What if like you walk down the street and you see a a person wearing a reverse V neck, meaning the V is like where their belly button is. I mean, I I mean I see that in women's fashion, but this was made. This is gonna be for men's fashion. Like, I mean, if you're into that, that's fine. But I was just <laughs> like, huh. to market that. I mean, actually, I'm pretty sure it can be marketable. But it's just like not your average person would wear that. Yeah. You gotta be a, a special one. A special... I thought a reverse v-neck would be on the back of the t-shirt. No. No. <laughs> no. That, that would just be weird. Because it, it would just look... <laughs> that would just be really weird. I don't know. I thought a ver... Oh, luckily it's black and not too crazy looking if I'm just leave it open and not button it up. What? Wait, huh? <laughs> it's fifteen thirty in Sydney now, so that's that's three thirty. No, not two thirty. No, three thirty. Three thirty, yeah. You gotta you gotta add from twelve. <laughs> yeah. I think this is even. I haven't even been checking. Wow. Watch. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see my estimates. Let's see if they're actually good. Yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> they're pretty solid. This needs to be fixed though. It's too weird for guys. Yeah, it's it's not your average apparel. And I mean, 11.30 in Thailand. I want to go to Thailand. Like, what's one good thing that you can you can do in Thailand? Like, I, I really want to go. Don't you want to go to Thailand? I feel like going to Thailand is like one of the goals in my life. Yeah. Singapore, too. I heard Singapore is really clean. And you can't, like, in Singapore, you can't, like, chew gum, I heard. On the street. On the that's, street. That's what my cousin said. He lives there. Right oh, he now. lives there? Yeah, he said um, they're not allowed to chew gum on, like, when they're out walking on the streets or whatever. I'm like, really? That's kind of weird. But then again, I don't even chew gum to start with. <laughs> <laughs> also, what type of paper for pattern? Oh, 830 in California. <laughs> that's where we at. We, we in California. Are you my neighbor? <laughs> 131 in Russia or 1331 in Russia. That's crazy. I want to go to Russia too. I don't I I mean I just want to see those buildings. I don't know if you have seen those buildings. They like look like I don't know what they're called. It's, they're just really like a one of those staple buildings. Yeah. Also, what type of paper for making patterns? So pattern making you can really just go on Amazon and look up pattern make pattern paper. But I just use construction paper. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm on a budget half the time. So, I mean, I just I just go to Walmart sometimes, Target even. I just go into the like little aisle and just look for a pack of white construction paper. No, it's a uh, poster paper. Poster paper, not construction paper. Poster paper. Yeah. And they're pretty sturdy. And like when you pin it onto your fabric, it stays in place. So you're not. It's not a big. It's not a bad thing either smiley face <laughs> i forgot the name of the cut i think it's a u or like a high low but rounded very popular in high fashion it was it did oh, actually it depends on where you live and where you're where you're from i know that it's still a popular trend somewhere it's just not not really not really now in 2018 i don't see anyone i all my friends wear like pretty much gildan crew necks with prints on it and that's literally yeah. it that's pretty much what i wear all the time too i'm not gonna get a front like once you get a little bit older you're just kind of like oh, all right i'll i'll throw on my crew neck sweater <laughs> i'm in hesperia Hes hesperia where is so it's in russia is that in russia yeah no that's not in russia where is that like the front length is cropped, but the back portion is slightly lower than the cropped. So is that a crop? Is that like a back crop? Like how does that? 
How does that look? So, I'm not sure. Two a, two and a half to three hours away from Las Vegas. I feel like we need to go to Las Vegas. I think that's I think that's the next thing I'm gonna do in my um my life just to go to Las Vegas. You don't really like I'm not big on like stuff like that, but I do like shopping. And <laughs> it's not like there's something special about their shops there. It's just like you just go there you just go to Vegas to just like go go to a hotel and then shop and then eat at the buffets. <laughs> Yo, the yeah. buffets you you just can't go wrong with. I I'm I'm gonna, I'm just gonna all right, so so here's here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. Whenever I sew, and I've noticed this, whenever I sew, and then it goes into my mic, it like hurt. It's like this, like really rough sound. So I'm gonna mute it while I sew this portion. So it's just gonna be really, really silent for like, I would say I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna sew for like th two minutes ish. And then I'm I don't know does actually can I can I get a survey guys does the sewing annoy you if it doesn't annoy you I will sew while we're on chat otherwise I'm just gonna wait for you guys to uh, I'll just respond to your comments right now while I get some feedback I want some of your tutorials hemmed a few pairs of pants and tailored a couple button downs from the thrift you are welcome it does save you a lot of time. Uh, we were, we had this terrible 4-12 to 12 record last season. Oh, shoot. We made it to playoffs this season, but lost against the Falcons. Oh. Oh, my. Oh. Well, at least you guys made it to playoffs. I mean, I'm from San Diego, where we used to have the Chargers. Now they're LA Chargers, and I don't even think they made it anywhere. Like, they're doing so, I don't, uh. People call the Chargers the Chokers. Yeah, I guess <laughs> Am I streaming through Twitch? I'm not. I'm actually streaming through YouTube, but I'm going to start streaming on Twitch too. Uh, Walmart or Joann's for fabric? I was just going to wing it with eBay since hella cheap, but I'm scared it may not even be good <laughs> and I'm cheap. So, <laughs> honestly, Walmart actually has some decent fabric. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, Walmart has good fabric. Joann's is pretty pricey, but again, you're going to get pretty good fabric. So it really depends on how you want to approach how cheap you are. Because me, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm cheap. I, I'll be like, okay, let me, let me hit up this Walmart. <laughs> so, I mean, it just kind of depends. Sometimes I go to, the, I even go to the swap meet. The swap meet is really good because... Each yard is a dollar. And it's just like premium fabric. Like this this fabric is almost is really premium. If I were to get this at a shop, it would be like nine dollars a yard. And I got I got like I think five yards for five dollars. So like you can tell, like that's that's a that's a huge difference. Is it possible to make a button up shirt with a basic sewing machine? And have it look proper as a beginner much respect you're good so if you if you spend the time to make it look good it will look good it doesn't matter what type of machine you have nah. i love the sound changing the waist size hard yes yes all right i'm gonna sew guys and i'm going to put my pins over here so i don't end up no no, no i don't want to end up doing that all right, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go, my friends. <laughs> oh, wait, I need my pins over here. Hold, hold up. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. I've always wanted to use that pun. I want to, you know, my next tutorial that I'll do... I'm literally gonna say so, so, so far, so good. I should make a vinyl that says so far, so good. <laughs> It'll literally say so on it. Is it... Is it cheaper to buy fabric at DTLA? No. <laughs> I've been to DTLA. It is not cheaper. 
it is actually more expensive. It can get really expensive. Actually, if to to be honest with you, DTLA's prices are kind of like Joanne's prices. It just kind of depends on what shop you go to and also if you know the owner. So, but they got good fabrics. Don't get me wrong. It may not be cheap, but there's good fabrics there. So way, that's what you do. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Thrift is some Levi jeans that I want to crop and fix the waist to fit me. So there are ways. There are ways to fix the waist, but the amount of work that you have to put in to tailor it to your waist size is a lot and I feel like you just gotta be really lucky with finding one in your size that's that's it swap meat or swat meat swap meat <laughs> I don't even think I, I'm pretty sure there's swap meats out where you live it's just like really hard to find when the holiday coupons come through that's when you go in on the fabric deals at Joann's like, Yo, Joann's, I don't know how it happened. Joann sent me like a coupon for like 60% off. And I was like, go. Oh. I went in and I was like, let me, let me, let, let me, let me, let me be realistic. Am I about to spend $50 here at Joann's? No. I literally went to the thread part of Joann's and saved like $3. <laughs> uh, dang, autocorrect changes so to see. That's that's sewing ASMR. <laughs> uh, sorry, just joined in. Where did you say it's a dollar per yard? The swap meet. If I if you go to swap meet, there's a swap meet down the street from my house. That's where I get dollar a yard. It it kind of varies from place to place, but I know you can get really cheap fabrics at the swap meet. <laughs> ASMR sewing video. It's gonna be like, hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy. <laughs> Get Andrew Daly. <laughs> oh man, that's that. I think that was. I think that's such a creepy like. I know it's like a it's like a fetish for people, but like for me, it's just like, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I'm gonna tim it one more time just to get it right. Just to get it right. All right, let me. I did a simple hem at the bottom. I didn't want to put a. I didn't want to put rib knit or anything like that on the bottom. I just felt like it was not necessary. <laughs> All right, let's let's do this one more time. All right. I'm just gonna hem it right now. Where are her tea cups? What? You gonna drop the hottest mixtapes of 2018 so far? Ah! Oh, oh. Wink, wink. Yo, so far, so good. That's what. That's <laughs> that's the name of the mixtape. So far, so good. It's gonna be like so. You know. Yeah. It's in the works, yo. Bars. You know how many bars? I'll let you know when it comes out. <laughs> Boom. Bars. Okay. Oh. Oh. That's what I was like, where are the tea cups? But that's what she calls her subscribers. That's where that's where that comes from. I was like, um, where am I from? I am from San Diego, California, United States. I'm probably just gonna get take it to the tailor. Yeah, it's probably the it's there's some things that you can do in house and there's some things you just can't do. And though that's one thing that you should probably just take to a tailor for. SD swap meet, yes, the one in National City. Dollar a yard, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday's a better day. BTW. I need to buy more fabric. Or no, I need to use the fabric. That's what I'm gonna do this weekend. I'm gonna make some stuff because I need to 
get rid of all that. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make twenty sweaters, okay? Okay. You gonna you gonna you gonna wear them? Yep. Okay. Jeremy Lin. <laughs> so for some reason, people think I look like. Okay, I got I got the Asian Tyler the Creator. I got. What's that guy's name? Rich. Rich Chiga. Rich Chiga, the that one rapper, that Asian rapper, and then one time I got like. I forgot what this guy's name was, but he was like a really famous Asian guy. Ever seen the pickle lady do SM or ASMR? I don't want to. I feel like that's <laughs> like I feel like that's not like that's so like that's something you watch at you're on YouTube at like two AM in the morning, you're like eighteen related videos in, and you're like, huh. ASMR by Pickle Lady? No, that can't be true. You click on it, like five minutes later, you're just like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done for tonight. What are you sewing? A t-shirt? I am sewing a sweater. I started this project like, um, like two months ago. I think in December. I started in December. That's when I started. I, I started this bad boy in December. Or bad... You know, whatever, 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 ethnicity. Does the machine really matter for jeans or is it the needle? It's the needle. Your machine can go through anything. It's just if you pr properly set up your machine, it can, it, it'll work like butter. Our machine here in <laughs> Vegas is ghetto. They don't sell fabric. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta be really close to the district, which is the LA district. In my case. So that's... The people that like sell fabric here in San Diego are from LA. So that's why I got I got the hookups. So if I didn't live in San Diego, I would probably be buying all my fabrics online. Which, not ideal. Literally not ideal. I would never buy fabrics online because when you, when you get fabrics, you don't want to... You want to feel the fabric. You don't want to... You don't want to order it online and be like, ah... Uh, I like this fabric, and you're like pissed off. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. I, uh, the, 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 the. No. Asian Tyler the Creator, a black apino, and I get childish Gambino, all the time. What? I think I think if I was child, I I would love that count. I would love that compliment. I would I would love that actually. Just a lot of slurp sounds, I'm assuming. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not even gonna... I'm, it's so weird, but it's funny. Like, she's for real munching on a pickle, typing on a keyboard into a mic. Oh my Is it gosh, really? Like, okay. oh my <laughs> goodness, man. Like, this is like that... This is like where you get the noise-canceling, like, headphones. <laughs> and then you're like, hey, 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 Jonathan. Like, I, I just saw this new video. You gotta watch it. And you got you put the headphones on Jonathan, and you just tell him, "Hey Jonathan, just close your eyes," and then oh you'll play gosh. the video, and he'll be like, "Wait, what is this?" And then he'll like, he'll be so intrigued that he'll wa he'll listen to the whole video. I think I'd be really annoyed because I don't like the sound of people like chewing with their mouth open. Really, that's a pet peeve of mine. I mean, I mean, some people got jaw, jaw. I mean, their jaws are just. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I guess. I, I mean, I don't discriminate. I mean, you you love love yourself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> awesome. Good looking out. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. Let me know if you need any more. Say that. Um, advice. Thanks. Fla Flaming Stampy Fan. Is it, that's a that's an interesting uh, username. Salad. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Pamela, what is, does anyone know how, if anyone can translate? Is I believe that's Spanish. Yeah. Could ask, could check what she said. <laughs> I think uh, it means thanks from Mexico. Thanks from Mexico. I, I was gonna say Donata, but that's that's that's. Yeah, Donata is welcome. Oh, okay. I I, I don't know Spanish, so <laughs> I, I try. I try. I'll be visiting SD next month. What is a good place to get fabric? I'm checking out the swap meet as well. 
So you can go to Yardage Town, Yard, A G E Town. That's a national city. It's in Kearney Mesa. It's in El Cajon. So you can go to one of. There's three locations. So that's that's best places. If you're here on the weekend, go to the swap meet. It's fifty cents to get in. I mean Gambino, like he came out with Redbone, and I was like. How did that song go? Redbone? Oh, I forget. Already. I just know it's a good song. Like, <laughs> I like his I liked his album. It was pretty good. Not gonna lie. I'll put my needles. I'm gonna have my needles. I hate hearing people eat with their mouth open. Preach! Lamau. Preach. Lamau. I don't like it either. Yeah, it's... It's for, for some... Like, I'm a... I can tolerate with so much. I'm I'm just like such an open-minded person. Like you can be like super rude to me, and I'll just be like, awesome. Like I would just be like free-minded. Like it's like you know he probably had a bad day, or she, you or she. <laughs> oh hey, I got a question. How tall do you weigh? I mean, sometimes like if gravity is doing good for me, sometimes I weigh pretty tall. You should put that on a t-shirt. That would be really good as a t-shirt. How tall do you weigh? Uh. But scientifically, if gravity is doing good and it's like 8 p.m. at night and oh. it's outside and it's dark, wow. I'm pretty tall. <laughs> okay? Okay. I'm pretty tall. I'm not trolling. I'm not trolling at all, oh, like, geez. to be honest. Okay. Green from Mexico. That's what it what it means. Okay. Awesome. Greetings from California. You know, it's so crazy that, like people be like greetings from like their state or where they're from. It's for some reason I keep saying greetings from San Diego. Like I don't know, I just feel I feel like it's just awkward when I do that. I don't know. What's the best way to contact you for more advice? Instagram. Like I try to you but you gotta be a human about hitting me up. There's some people that just be like, yo, I need it and I'm just like what what do you mean you need it like you you, you need a question like what are you doing <laughs> I don't know stay woke is my is my jam I li is that a song stay woke yeah. isn't that Redbone I, I, I think it's Redbone I don't know whoa still my idea now SMH Yo, SMH on you, man. SMH. Why Great you... minds think alike, right? <laughs> S SMH. SMH, fam. <laughs> SMH. So, when people, when people think, when people, I remember, I remember back then, people were like, oh, what do you like in person? And then I'll be like, SMH, man. I'm just like, I'm just me. I just, <laughs> I don't, I'm just me. I just literally what you guys see in my live streams that's me in real life that's that's who i am i'm just kind of like really just easy going smh i don't know when when i say smh it's just like it's just a good feeling i mean i mean i mean i mean you're shaking your head for a reason but when you say it it's just like ah it just make it just makes the effect a lot better. Oh, here in Vegas, it's freezing hot. It's freezing hot. Like you walk outside and you shivering but sweating at the same time, which is a real thing. Yeah. But, I mean, that's the one way to depict that. <laughs> when are you going to start selling your designs? When I when I when I come up with a couple. <laughs> It's been a while since I've I've touched my collection book where I like draw stuff and I like design stuff. I need to pick that up again. I think I think it's time. Yeah. I think it's time to get out of the, the the locker room and like push out CAD style 2018. Spring. <laughs> Spring. <laughs> I don't know, I really, I really am just about that, like, basic life right now. I don't, I'm not gonna lie, like, I can make so many cool stuff, but for me, I'm just very basic as far as my style, so it's just like, I don't know if I need to do all that. Ooh, 
Ooh. Can you guys see the sewing machine? I, I mean, it's kind of blocked off, but it's okay. Oof. I'm almost done. Almost done. I'm so excited. I'm excited. I'm not excited. excited. I'm excited. Can you open my Instagram and roast me? Heck yeah. I'm just kidding. Uh, I mean, I don't even know where my phone is at. Maybe, maybe next, next live stream. I'll, I'll, I'll rate people's brands or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll do like a, like a, I'll do a subscriber special next live stream where I'll just be like, all right, we're going to have blah, blah on, on the line. And then we're just going to like Skype chat people and be like, yo, what's up? You're going to ask one thing. <laughs> And then I'll like end it if they try to say something. Alright. Alright. Here we go. Moment of moment of truth. I'm about to put this on. I've been drying. Oh, what? I've been drying. I've been drowning dry, bro. Yo, that 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 contradiction, man. I was gonna say juxtaposition. But that's not that's not how you would use that. All right, we go finally put on this sweater that I've been I've been trying to get done for two months. It's almost time. I still have to put a collar on it, <laughs> but it's pretty much done. Let's put this bad boy on. Oh wait, I hemmed it on the wrong side. Now I'm playing. I'm oh playing. I'm gosh. trolling. Oh my Here we go. Gosh. Here we go, legit fam, or squad fam, 2018. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. I learned from the dab, the dab fam. The dab fam. The dab fam. All right, let's put this. I'm also going to be printing on this, so it's going to look cooler once I'm done. But I'm just going to throw this on. Throw this on. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Oh man, hold on. Let me let me get that full cam for you guys. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Why this you stole my cursor. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> so, oh man, I don't think I even got enough space to do this. I gotta like stand back real quick. Oh. Alright, so. Can I just hold it? Yeah, could you just like I don't know. I don't know what you want to do. Like, I gotta like. Where's the wire? Where it goes around. Half. Look, I made it extra long for for the aesthetic. So, um. Hold on. Sorry, okay, guys. Hard. Sorry, guys. I'm like we're trying to like physician this. There we go. So here is the sweater. Man, I kind of made it kind of small, but it's all good. Oh, it's moving a lot. My this bad. is what it looks like. All the way around you know what I'm saying that's the sweater and you literally the whole purpose of the sweater is to be like oversized like this so yeah that's it and I'm gonna put some print actually I'm gonna put some print on the front or something I don't know but you're supposed to wear it like this it's supposed to be like that but yeah guys I finally I finally finished this sweater it took like a whole literally like a whole month but I mean, I'm finally done. I'm pretty happy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Gotta fix that real quick. But yeah, I finally finished the sweater and I, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm going to wear, I'm, I'm probably going to Instagram it tomorrow and wear it and, you know, do, do the whole thing. But yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Take care of it. Take care. You can oh. take care of it. You can take care of it. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Sorry, I like. Oh my gosh, where? Where are we at? Where are we oh, at? Here. Let's work together. I got. I have some some um drawings. Oh, oh my oh. gosh, where did it go? Where did it go? Right there. I have some drawings, but can't. So, hit me up. Hit me on the Instagram. I brought. I bought some transfer paper. I hope it works since I've tried mod. Hodge, photo transfer, ruin the design. Have you ever used transfer paper? Yes, I've actually did a tutorial on that. What kind of stitch are you doing on that knit fabric? I'm just doing, I actually, 
I actually just did a standard straight stitch. I didn't do any anything at all. Uh, what are you going to print on it? Caution all over it. <laughs> I mean, I might as well at this point, you know what I'm saying? So it's oversized or elongated sleeves just because like that's like a super trend right now. Uh, rate subscribers outfits. Yo, I'm, I mean, I would love to do that. If you want to send that my way, I'll do it in the next video. I uh, love the elongated sleeves. Yo, it's just a little bit different. I want to do the super long sleeve type hoodie since I know the basics of sewing. It's simple and different. I like it. Yeah, it's just kind of, it's just kind of like, um, it's just kind of like a statement piece. You're like you just go out in front. You just front. You go to, you go to In and Out. Yo, it's like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I mean, this is this is. What do you think? It looks good. You think? I it actually really like it. You want to borrow it? Nah, it's gonna end up going to me. <laughs> like once yeah. it shrinks. <laughs> nope. I like I kind of like the raw color. I feel like if I had a I feel like if I had a I'll probably still add a color, but yeah guys, that is the uh, long sleeve. Uh, let me know what you guys think. <laughs> uh, you should make a dress. Oh my gosh. Yo, yo, I've I made it. Well, I didn't make a dress, but actually, no, I haven't made a dress yet. Not from scratch. Not from scratch, but but I actually like this because I can go like <laughs> go like that. You know. So when it's hot, you know. No, when you wanna when it <sighs> on the haters, you got a little a uh, little bit more. <laughs> but I don't even know why I just did that. That was that was so bad. Can I can I take can I take that back? Can I can I undab that? <laughs> Instacop. Yeah, it's a, it's just like a little design I had like 2017. I finally got it done. But yeah. If you guys want me to rate your guys' outfits next next live stream, I'll do a su subscriber portion of the live stream next time. So, <laughs> that's what it feels like. I'm about to slap. I'm about to slap someone. <laughs> not literally, figuratively. Not figuratively. Not not at all. <laughs> I, I take the I take all of that back. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, I usually live stream for about an hour and then I kind of call it quits. Finally got this sweater done. I'm gonna do an Instagram t of this tomorrow, so make sure to tune into my Instagram, follow me on Instagram, and yeah. <laughs> no, make a matching dress to match the shirt you have on right now. Would you be down to be the counterpart? Yeah. Alright, I just gotta get more fabric. <laughs> kind of reminds me of number three. I mean that in a good way. Yeah, that's that's kind of like <laughs> can you make me <laughs> can you make me a straight check? <laughs> Woo! Oh, probably. <laughs> Anyways, I, I'm pretty much getting in the live stream right now. I'm gonna answer some last minute questions. I want to just thanks all the subscribers that come through every single, every single time. It's it's a, it's a blessing to do this every Friday and. I, I just have fun with it, you know, I, I mean, I don't care about who's views, likes, all of that, I mean, it's all good, you know, as long as I'm enjoying what I do and have fun with it and be happy, that's, that's what it's all about. But, next live stream, I am going to be doing the next design that I have in my book, so be on the lookout for that, follow me on Instagram, at Daily. And I'll catch you guys in the next live stream. High fashion statement piece. 100%. Yes. But if you guys are watching this on the YouTubes, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, if you want to watch me live, make sure to subscribe and see me next Friday at 8 p.m. Yeah, my, my show is just, that's just it. We just, we just kick it. We just talk, we chat, and then... Just have fun with it. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next live stream. I'm... <laughs> it's kind of a struggle, though. Kind of a struggle. Kind of a struggle to get... Because it kind of... But what I do like about it is that it, it kind of bunches up. Kind of gives it that stack, stacked effect. I'll give you guys a high-quality photo of it on Instagram. But anyways... Wow, I just hit my head... My, my eye. I'm crazy right now. I'm done. 
<laughs> I'm done, but have a good night, fam. We'll see you next Friday, 8 p.m. sharp. Make sure to be there. I'm going to try to do some, like, subscriber time. So, like, if you want to send me, like, a picture or make me, like, I don't know, do a request. I don't know. Do do something. I, I Have fun with it. But have a blessed weekend. It's Martin Luther King weekend. So, if you're... If you're going out and having fun, make sure you're doing it responsibly. 8 p.m. Friday, Pacific Standard Time. So, just I started at 8, 8 o'clock, usually 8 or 8.05. But anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next live stream. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Follow me on Instagram, KidEditorDaily. Ah!